What's going on guys? This is Invader here, ready to bring you some Christmas cheer. So, I want to talk a bit about what's been going on with Crytek. Over the past days or so, Crytek, the makers of the CryEngine and games like Crisis and Rise, have shuttered a few studios, leaving just their headquarters in Frankfurt and another in Kiev. You know, it just, it really sucks because people are losing their jobs, and it's been well documented that the company just hasn't been paying their employees for a long period of time. Like seriously, what the heck is going on Crytek? In all honesty, I'm not shocked by the closings. Crytek ha haven't been making a lot of games, and they've been mostly riding on the, the success of Crisis and their engine. There's been other signs that things were looking grim, like them selling off Homefront after acquiring it, and then just sticking to the free-to-play games. Now, everybody's saying Microsoft should swoop in and buy Crytek up. Now, while this is all well and good, some are forgetting some key details here. Earlier this year, Microsoft shuttered down a whole bunch of first-party studios, which include Linehead and Press Play, not to mention letting go of Twisted Pixel. With this in mind, I don't think there's interest in Microsoft buying studios. It usually doesn't end well, and they seem to have better luck at creating first-party studios. I also don't see the CryEngine being much use to Microsoft, as they, always, they recently acquired Havoc. CryEngine is awesome, but it's just not as widely used. At least I don't think so. So in my opinion, I think they'd be more interested in purchasing the Rise property. Heck, maybe even Crisis, though so that may be pushing it. But still, it makes sense to fund a new Rise at the very least. There's no doubt Rise had it, has its flaws, but it also had a very weird development uh, going from a Kinect game to a full action game. And to me, it still has a lot of promise. It's got a good story, it was fun, it was interesting, it had lots of action, and the multiplayer Gladiator Arena wasn't half bad either. So what do you guys think about this turn of events? Do you think Crytek will sell off some big properties? Do you think they'll go under? As always, thanks for watching guys. Please remember to hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out Xbot448's recent video on the matter. He certainly brings an interesting perspective on it. I wish everybody the best over the holiday season. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year to all you guys. Keep safe and Invader out.